Procedure 1 of Lab B3, the redox titration, standardization of the potassium permanganate. The standard that we'll use is iron 2 sulfate heptahydrate. You should make a recording of the mass for this trial 1. And transferring the hydrate into the flask. Use a squirt bottle to be sure that all of the bits of iron sulfate actually make it into the flask. Next, we'll be sure and add the sulfuric acid as well as phosphoric acid. Both will be sure that the reaction will produce the correct oxidation state of the manganese. Next, take a reading, initial reading of the burette. And then we'll go ahead and add the potassium permanganate into the dissolved iron sulfate until the pink color persists. We'll allow the permanganate to continue until all of the iron ions are used up in the flask and when the next final or last drop of permanganate no longer can react because the iron has been used up, the pink color will remain. This is the moment at which the stoichiometric quantities of iron 2 ions and permanganate match. And we'll take a second reading of the burette. Remember that burettes read down, not up. And now for trial 2, be sure and record the iron sulfate again and set up a second column in your data table. And the purpose of this procedure is to determine the molarity of the potassium permanganate. We call that standardization. The iron sulfate is serving as our primary standard. It's a very stable compound that when we measure a certain mass, we can feel confident that indeed we are aware of the moles of the chemical that are actually in the flask. Again, adding the acids and we'll use the previous ending reading as our starting reading for this second trial. Allow the permanganate to run, the titration to proceed. I've got it on faster speed again. Again what's happening is we're pouring in enough permanganate. The color immediately disappears because all of the products are colorless and when the pink remains as you just saw that means that the iron has run out and the potassium permanganate is not being reacted. Make the final reading and record to your data table.